Welcome to Multiframe Webinar 3 Video 2 on Working with Loads. We've seen how to use joint loads, now let's take a look at member loads. Member loads can be applied in the global or local coordinate system. There are a couple of options if you choose a global load, whether to apply the load over the projected length of the member, which is perpendicular to the load direction, or whether to apply the load over the true length of the member. As we saw with joint loads, it's also possible to use formulas for the expressions of load position or load magnitude. So that means you can do a calculation for the location of a load relative to the length of the member or for the magnitude relative to any property of the member. It's also possible to apply multiple point loads simultaneously and we do that by using a comma separator for the location of each load or if you're working on a European system you can use a semicolon as the separator. And we'll also take a look at how we can modify member loads by double clicking on them to modify them numerically. So let's move over to multiframe and we'll see our load window here. So if we just want to apply a couple of loads it's very straightforward. We select the member, choose the distributed load icon, choose the shape of the load, the direction relative to the current view that we're looking at, put in the magnitude and those distributed loads are applied. If we want to apply a point load we can choose the point load icon and then notice how we can type in an expression. So if we type in L over 2 then obviously we get a load at mid span. If we use that same command again and we type in L over 3 and then a comma and then L over 2 and then a comma and then 2 times L over 3 that gives us three point loads along the member um, which uh, is defined like so and so you can see how we can apply three loads simultaneously. If we double click that member we can see the three individual loads that are applied. We can change the direction of the load from global to local coordinates and so on. Uh, we can change the location of the load on the member so the left, left distance is the distance from the left hand end to the start of the load and the right distance is the distance from the right hand end to the end of the load the magnitude and uh, if we're looking at a factored load case we can see where the load came from. We can select any particular row in this table and just choose delete just to selectively remove loads on a member. So applying uh, distributed loads or point loads on members is very straightforward. Thanks for watching.